are back. Welcome back to um, our I guess newest episode of BNG TV. We back. <laughs> All right, so there uh, has been a lot that has transpired through our absence, a lot that has gone on, a lot of changes, uh, a, not, a lot of newness. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're in a different background uh, right now uh, because we bought a new house. So, and we're going to talk about that in the next video, but uh, this video is just to give you guys an update on uh, us since our last video. Which was? Two years ago? Yeah. 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 So the latest video we was going to do, we had found out we was pregnant with yep. Grace. Mm -hmm. And then when we were getting ready for our next video, we had the Easter tornado that came through so so. And there was like a F5. F5. Yeah. That was F4. So and it destroyed the little town that we lived in. Like, I think it was like not even a half a mile away from our house. Like, we had some damages, but it wasn't that bad. But that's you know, like where we stopped it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's where we stopped. So, um, like she said, I mean, the tornado damage was like real severe. Um, I mean, it, from a aerial view, uh, it looked like, I always tell people it looked like God took his finger, stuck it in the dirt and just drew, made a line. Because uh, the tornado tore up everything. But uh, by the grace of God, we are still here. Uh, and so now we want to just kind of catch you guys up on what's been going on. So uh, I guess should we start with uh, jobs? Yeah, we can talk about that. Okay. All right. So at the time of our... Or do you want to go first? Well, after that, I think I was still in Heidelberg. Yeah, yep. mm -hmm. I was still working yep. in Heidelberg, and then I started working in Laurel, come to fall, because I wanted to kind of be closer to home with having um, a new baby, I wanted to be closer to home, and so I worked there for a few months. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to get into the details of that, but I, I I met wonderful people that I still, you know, kind of just talk to. Mm -hmm. Um, now I met wonderful people there, but now I work for uh, Marion County as a um, SEL counselor, say as teacher, mm -hmm. and so it's social emotional learner, and and so like I teach kids about like social skills, personal skills, time management, um, things like that, skills that our kids are lacking. Like our kids cannot explain or understand their emotions, um, how to manage time how to um, get along with other kids, you know, even up until like our high school, um, high schoolers. And so that's what I do currently. And I love it. I love it. Y'all know um, I have my mental health background. So it's like I'm teaching and able to use my uh, mental health um, work experience. Mm -hmm. And it's been, it's been great. So I'm excited for the next school year. And what's to come after that? I think I gave up on school counseling. Like, I think I want to move up into, like... Because <laughs> counseling is not counseling anymore. Like, it's so... Because everything now is test, 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 true, test, test. True, but I, I think, you know, just like any position in education, you kind of make it what, what you want. Uh, I am I am the rule bender. I, I've realized that I bend rules, I break them. Uh, yeah. um, yeah, yeah, I, I really do just simply because I am 100% focused on the well being and the overall status of uh, the children as opposed to um, doing everything strategically by the book. Sometimes you have to kind of step outside of that, but um, that's our new baby, Harmony. Yeah, uh, we had two babies yeah. <laughs> <laughs> since the last video, yeah. both girls. Yeah. It just so happened that she, this one will be one month old next week, yep. so she's new, new. So yeah, y'all hear the baby, she's grunting because it takes her forever to wake up. <sighs> Um, all right, so the last that you heard from me, I, I was still teaching music at Laura Mill, um, doing some awesome things there. Um, and I, I'm grateful for Laura Middle, everything that it taught me, everything that it currently is today. Um, but uh, I transitioned to uh, really the same place where my wife is. Uh, I was there first. Um, I went ahead and scouted out the layout first, but a uh, big shout out to uh, Marion County East Marion Schools. 
the Eagle. Um, I am the director of performing arts uh, there. So I am over gospel choir, show choir, uh, creative dance, which is a hip hop dance group, speech and debate, theater. Uh, we just started up a brand new program for our fourth through sixth grade and it's show choir junior. Um, and uh, yeah, we're doing some awesome things out there and I, I'm, I'm excited. Um, I, you got there and just. I got I excited. Mean, just doing I, the most. I got there and just doing and, the most. And what I was constantly told was, "Hey, paint the program how you want it." And for but a person they didn't like, mean like oh, what you was doing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think they meant like. Yes, they did. They just didn't know that that's what they meant. I told them, I said, I told you know, the principal, I said, look, if he down here on his roof with the speakers and stuff, listen, don't, don't look for me to listen, come help get him down. Listen, whatever I got to do to put a smile on somebody's face, um, I will. But uh, like I said, we have some awesome things and, and probably some videos to come. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about some specific details about what we do uh, at East Main. Because let me tell you, you almost got this lady beat up at the zoo. She was like talking to me and then she was talking about, um, she was like, yeah, the crossing guard, he's out there. I just love him. He just makes my day every morning. Gym. He's like, he just makes my day. He's, she's like, um, and I was like, oh, I was like, Mr. McComb. She's like, yes, I just love him. Like, oh, that's my husband. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, <laughs> when you're from South Mississippi and, and my, my, my people from South Mississippi put something in the, the comments. Uh, if you are from South Mississippi, you know that regardless of if I know you or not, I'm going to speak. Hey, there. Yeah. What's happening? Really you doing all right? How you mama now? You know, <laughs> man, when I tell you, y'all, I get out. I love my job. Like, I love my job. You may catch me playing air guitar with the stop sign uh, some mornings. Uh, I have a uh, portable speaker that I keep with me. So some mornings the kids come out the blues. Sometimes they come out to R&B. Sometimes it's rap. Sometimes it's old school rap. We may be playing a little Tupac. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've been getting my playlist together for when school starts back because I'm excited to get the ball rolling. But uh, again, uh, there has been some phenomenal things to happen. Um, you know, and like when you do the announcements. <laughs> and it's like, Good morning, East Marion Eagles. It is. <laughs> yeah, boy. And then when you do that, like you hear kids down the hall. Man, yeah, boy. And I'm man. Like, oh my gosh. I love my nerves. But then I like that we in a place where you can like be yourself and people not be so Just serious and uptight. Yep. Yeah, you do have. Now, why your husband so loud so early in the morning? But why I love not? it. No, but they like. I love it. We love it, you know. But like to be somewhere where you can, you yeah, know, yeah. like, and the kids love it. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, there there's been a lot that has uh, transpired. Um, as I mentioned, uh, we're gonna talk about it in our next video. Uh, this is just going to be a short one, just kind of introducing you guys back to the new us. Uh, but I'm going to drop a picture of our house within this video so you'll get a chance to see it in about three, two, one. So uh, don't let this be the last time that we hear or see from you. Also, before I forget, uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, please, guys, to help get our uh, subscribers up. Yeah, but outside of our YouTube, like, we still got, like, your motivate going. Yep. And we have our nonprofit finna get um uh, up and going. We had to put pause on it because of COVID. Yeah. That was happening during the tornado stuff too. COVID yeah, it was. Stuff. Yeah, it was. But we that was to... weird. Like, because I remember so COVID jumped off in March, like when it got really hot toward the end of March. Yeah, in April. April then, the like, tornado came. A lot of people was they were saying like the people can come out. Right, up, right, right. Because of the right. state restrictions. I remember specifically thinking, um, at what point does my humanity cross over my health? Yeah. Um, you know, am I more afraid to catch this virus that no one really know, knew anything about other than it was killing people? Um, but there's someone down the road who has lost everything, you know, needs help getting out of their cars or out of their homes. Uh, so yeah, that that was a, a difficult right. time. Yeah, to kind of get through. So, but then speaking of our nonprofit, we got a marriage retreat we are planning. Yep. Like for married and engaged couples. Yep. 
we have things we got planned for like i want to do like a women's uh conference next spring hopefully next spring yeah um i am still writing my book <laughs> it's been forever but i'm gonna finish it i'm gonna finish my book we're gonna do the whole release and everything yeah you know? Yeah, we got some awesome things yeah, um, some with Motivate, uh, and I also put my website in the chat. We just released uh, our first uh, pair of shoes, uh, so we have shoes now. Uh, we got backpacks, and I think I have one uh, right over here. This is from our new partnership with Adidas. Um, it is available now online. It has the Motivate logo right there. And guys, again, the whole deal, because a lot of people ask me about like my Motivate company, like the reason behind it, uh, is it's to, as the name suggests, it's to motivate people. Uh, I wanted to create something that uh, was almost, you know, I'm a, if anybody who knows me, you see it in the background, I'm a superhero person. Uh, and almost all superheroes, they had a symbol or something that they could look toward that either reminded them about themselves or, or encouraged them to, it was almost like a call to action. Uh, and for me, that Motivate logo is a call to action. It's a call to, regardless of the circumstances or the situation, when I see it, uh, get back into the game. You know, uh, when others see it, they, they become inquisitive and they ask, hey, what does that mean? And that gives me an opportunity to encourage them and motivate them to be their best selves. So, uh, like I said, I'll put the, the link for the website into um, the, the video as well. So, okay. so yeah. All right, y'all. Like I said, stay tuned. Um, please check out our next video, uh, which is going to drop really soon. Uh, and we're going to go into the very specific details as to how we went from this house to this house. All right, guys, love you. Y'all stick with us. Peace out.